Hello everyone, welcome again, again to the Word for Today with Ray. And before we begin, let, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, we're grateful that we have this time to sit before you and your Word knowing that you, Lord, want us to know more about you. You want us to know, know about your Son, Jesus. You desire that, that we be guided into the all truth. And I pray today that you, by your, your Holy Spirit, will do just that. And that we might manif manifest the fr fruit of your Spirit, which is, which is love. And we'll, we'll give thanks for all these things. In Jesus' name, name I pray. Amen. The title to today's lesson is, The Grace of Our Lord Jesus Christ. And it's taken Galatians chapter 6 and verse 18. As we close the book of Galatians, we have come to Paul's final words to the church members. He has warned, warned them of the teachings of the Judaizers. He has urged them to, to enjoy the gospel of grace. And he has instructed them about their behavior toward one another. In chapter 6 and verse 18 of Galatians, Paul concludes his book with a reference to, to the theme of his book. He, he wrote, Brethren, the grace of our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ be with you with your spirit. Amen. Paul begins with the word brethren. For one final time, we see the affinity that Paul had toward the church members in Galatia. He, their evangelist prophet, who brought him the teachings of Jesus in the first place, was as a spiritual father on earth to them. Yet, yet he employs the endearing term of brethren, as if to say they were family, close kin, and fellow believers. In Paul goes on to bless them with the grace of our Lord Jesus be with your dear spirit. There is probably not a greater desire Paul could have wished to put the Galatians than this one. That God's unmerited favor would shine upon them and was one of the greatest blessings they would ever receive. Notice too, he desires that our Lord Jesus Christ grace be with your spirit. Paul included himself in the relationship with us. And that Jesus' present grace would be with the spirits, which is the very essence. Paul begins or began his letter with the, the word grace in, in chapter and verse three, three, where he said, Grace be to you and, and peace from God the Father, from our Lord Jesus Christ. And now he ends in the same manner. Those, those who read Paul's words can never have enough, enough grace of God poured out on them. Paul ends his, his word with the word amen, which means so be it or let it, let it be so. And thus shall we end our study of the book of Galatians in the same way. Amen and amen. And we, may we, we or more say, amen to the, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ being poured out upon our spirits. Next time we'll begin again a, a new book. It's the Old Testament and it's the book of, of S. So begin in chapter 1 and read ahead and let, let us join together then. Till tomorrow is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep keep you. May he make his, make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word in Jesus' name.